Nicole is the new head of household. Who will she nominate for eviction? Find out now on Big Brother Cheesecake 5 All-Stars. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik Moonves. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 5 All Stars. It's day 80 inside the Big Brother Cheesecake house, and this week, Nicole is the new head of household. Who will she nominate for eviction? We'll find out shortly. But first, house guests, I have some bad news. So I said that today we would be having a special competition, which we are. It's going to start as soon as this episode airs, uh, and it will end at 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But when I said that, you all kind of got paranoid and went crazy and thought this had to do with the twist, and it does not. So, <laughs> oops. Um, but the good news is, the final twist of the season will finally be revealed to all of you on Monday. So we are only four days away from finding out what that final twist is. What is this competition, you may ask? Well, we'll find out shortly. Uh, <laughs> but first, uh, let's get to the nomination ceremony. Hello. I am Nicole, your president, vice president of the United States of America. It is my responsibility as Vice President of the United States and President of the Big Brother Cheesecake Household to nominate two of my fellow house guests for eviction. Jojo, you last week, you robbed that bank, you robbed it dry. So you want to fast forward. And that spirit of banking and robbing banks, it's alive in America. Every 30 minutes, a bank gets robbed. I will now pull the name of the house guest who is safe, and then the next house guest until we have our two nominees. Brazil, you are safe. Jonathan, you are safe, which means Nicole has nominated Curtis and Chantel for eviction. Let's see what she has to say. First of all, I do want to say how proud of Brian I am. Although there were times he tried to take himself out, the power within him couldn't break the final six promise. But that shit's over now, and it's time to get bloody. Chantel, you're hands down the best player to ever play Cheesecake. I voted for you to win our season for your unmatched strategic and social game. And because Alvin was a butthead. I completely believe you would win again at the end of this season. And as much as I'd like to see that happen twice, I'd love to see my first win a little bit more. Curtis, you are a comp beast and so well liked by everyone besides Brenda and Marson, of course. It's frightening and I fully believe you would have won season 4 if you were at the end. With that, you are also the other winner's right arm. And to weaken other players moving forward, I think it might be time for an amputation. And for all the fans who think I have been following orders from others this entire time, 
Sit back, relax, and enjoy the long-awaited show. Let the best Brian win. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. Well, Curtis, at least she's going for your right arm and not your dick. So that's a good, that's a start. Uh, Nicole has nominated uh, Chantel and Curtis for eviction, but the Golden Power Veto can still change the nominations. Since there are only six house guests left, all six house guests are participating, and this is the fifth of five uh, uh, veto competitions where players can use their all star dollars to buy advantages. So, just a quick reminder Chantel, 182. Brazil 180, Curtis 171, Jojo 122, Nicole 81, Jonathan 41. This week's Golden Power Veto competition is called Big Brother Monopoly. And here's how it works. Krista at the halfway party blurted out, Andrew, you're not having Monopoly this season? Nobody's getting Monopoly pieces? And I lied. And I said, no, we're not doing Monopoly. And two of you, I forgot who, but two of you asked in your DR for doing Monopoly this season. I think Curtis was one of them. And the other one was probably... I can't remember the other one. Maybe JoJo. But two of you asked and I lied and I said no. Because I wanted to keep it a secret, even though I'm sure some of you have guessed, that for this final competition where you can spend your all-star dollars on advantages we are having an open auction for the monopoly color sets purple light blue pink orange red yellow green dark blue the railroads and the utilities in a moment i will randomly draw the order that we will have the 10 sets of properties and then throughout the day you can bid on these sets using your all-star dollars you can bid in dollars so one two three four five that's how much you can up and buy you cannot break them in half uh, you cannot pool your all-star dollars together any leftover all-star dollars you have once the bidding is over for all 10 sets will be added to your to your score of 600 dollars that you get at the beginning of the monopoly game uh, I will say this will take place throughout the day, and I will try and even it out, space, space it out, you know, as closely, as accurately as possible. That's not the right word. I will try and space it out as evenly as possible. Not accurately. Um, I will say going once at some point. When I say going twice, that means there are exactly five minutes left until I say gone, or sold, I guess. Sold. When I say sold, whoever happens to be the most recent bidder spends their all-star dollars on that set and it is theirs. So remember, after I say going twice, exactly five minutes, and I will say sold. Um, you can, if you're able to buy more than one set, you can buy as many sets as you like. Um, based on the order, you know, some people go for the big ones. I always was a Boardwalk Park Place person. The green, there's three of them, so that's a bit better. My cousin Peter says the yellow is the best because it's right before jail. Red? I don't know anybody who likes red, although there is a go to Advanced to Illinois Avenue card. Lindsay and her brother Christopher always used to fight over the orange properties, and whoever didn't get it would cry. And then I would cry. We cried a lot growing up. Uh, pink is fairly popular, even though it's the third cheapest one. Light blue, nobody seems to really go for. And purple is... purple, I mean. It's nice to take somebody's go money away, but it's, you're likely not going to win the game with it. Some people go for railroads. I never go for railroads. I will admit, for utilities, utilities are the only set remaining where the person who owned utilities never won the competition. Every other set, that owner has won at some point in the last four seasons. And I will say... Um, that the winner of the Monopoly competition has never won the season. Lisa in Season 1, Rob in Season 2, yeah, uh, Jojo in Season 3, and Lindsay in Season 4. So we'll see if you can break the curse. As for the Monopoly game, uh, you've all played it or seen it in the past. Nothing's really changed. Uh, last season I changed it from 15 minutes an episode because it's in three days, to six rolls day one, eight rolls day two, ten rolls day three, 
uh, which means I don't have to rush and I make fewer mistakes, even though I still made a mistake last season. And I am determined to make zero mistakes this season. Uh, the luxury tax, tax is $100. Get out of jail is... I think it was $100. It's supposed to be $50 in the game, but I, I never use $50. We'll say... We'll go $200. Because going, getting to jail shouldn't be a good thing. So jail is $200. Uh, free parking. So I was at Cats for Christmas or some holiday or some nonsense. And she played with the stupid free parking rule where you put $500 in and if you spend anything, it goes into free parking. And if you land on it, you get all the money. Number one... That's not in the original rules of Monopoly. That is some dumbass rule that some person who was high on ecstasy was came up with one day and it seems to have caught on. That's not a rule. And all that does is, is make one person win by a lucky break. This isn't a luck-based comp. You can't just win, land on free parking and win. This takes skill, motherfuckers. So no, that's not in it. Double, collecting double money for landing on go. That I always leave up to the house guests, so everybody can vote on whether they want to collect double money if they land on go. Um, because that is not that big of a deal. Uh, but that will not include the card that says events to go. Um, I think that's everything for the rules. Um, that there was one change that I had made. Oh, what was it? In season three, I know I changed that if you land on a color set, the entire color set goes up to two houses and the next time it's landed on. That changed in season three to it's only for each individual property. And I think that's everything. Let's get to the order that we are auctioning off the color sets. This is the color set lottery. Isn't this exciting? I always try to come up with some way to pull pieces of paper again once we get to final six. Okay, here we go. Oh, I forgot to mention, before I start, sorry, cut the music, cut the music, sorry. Um, I've come to realize, how, how do I say this? There's a lot I want to say about the game that I can't. I mentioned that in yesterday's episode. And I told Lindsay, by the way, Lindsay, zip it. Um, there's a lot I want to say. And there's even more I want to say today, because new information has come to light. I will say that when I created the twist that's coming on Monday, I created it thinking it could help or hurt certain players. But there is no question that this twist will drastically help one of you, big time. And that became very clear to me yesterday based on your diary rooms. Uh, okay, now let's get to the... Color, the color set lottery. Okay, here we go. The order is... I'm not going to look up because you trust me at this point that I'm not cheating. It's not like it's going to affect it. We begin with red, uh, which is Kentucky, Illinois, and Indiana. Next is orange, which is right in, before it. Uh, St. James Place, Tennessee Avenue, and New York Avenue. Next up, after that, is Light Blue, which is Oriental Avenue. So racist. Uh, Vermont Avenue and Connecticut Avenue. Which reminds me, speaking of racist, um, you each also please today select what uh, piece, what Monopoly token you want. There's iron, racist, a sexist, like women just iron all day. Very rude. Car, thimble, money bag, train, Top hat, wheelbarrow, cannon. Very racist. Uh, okay, next, after that, we will auction off the utilities. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. So the utilities used to be first time you land on it times four, second time times ten to increase the popularity of it. First time times ten of the, di of the dice, by the way. Second time times twenty. Which means if you roll a 12 and land on a utility, 12 times 20 is 240. So it makes it a little bit better. Okay, next we'll go here to... Yellow. Uh, that's Ventnor, Marvin Gardens, and Atlantic Avenue. Not in that order. Next up... Ooh, 
Ooh, dark blue. Park place and boardwalk. Ooh la la. There are four left. Let's do this one. Pink. Uh, St. Charles Place. Uh, St. Charles Place. Virginia's the third one. States Avenue. Okay. I'm gonna look up because I accidentally saw one. Okay. There we go. Following that, we will auction off purple, Mediterranean, and Baltic. That's probably for Nicole because she lives in a shanty town. Uh, and railroads. And this is interesting. The last one is a good one. The last one is green. So, is that right? Yeah. So the order. No, I did it wrong, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Like, um, when I found out that ambulance was spelled backwards on an ambulance, I was like, okay, so the order is red, and you can start bidding right away. The bidding will start at a dollar until further notice. I might change it based on how it goes, but we'll start at a dollar for red. Hey, a dollar here, five dollar here, ten dollar here, a dollar here, ding, 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 sold. Okay. Red, orange, light blue, utilities, yellow, dark blue, pink, purple, railroads, and green. And last but not least, for those of you who didn't have faith that Monopoly would, would be back, did you really think I would get rid of Monopoly? Like, Monopoly is a staple, Big Brother Cheesecake. How dare you not have faith in Monopoly and in Rich uh, Uncle Ben? whatever his name is. Anyway, with that said, who will win the Big Brother Monopoly Golden Power Veto Competition? Find out tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday as we play this three-day extravaganza. Uh, Monday, will the winner choose to use the Golden Power Veto to save Chantel or Curtis from the chopping block? We will also have my thoughts on reality realness and finally reveal the final twist of the season. It's a big one. Tuesday, the final two nominees play their case, and we check in with the jury house with Joanne, Kat, Chad, Aton, and Rhonda. And Rhonda was not impressed today with the behavior that was going on in there. She, <laughs> she called me. If Rhonda calls me, I know something is wrong, because Rhonda rarely calls me. So I was like, uh-oh, Rhonda's calling. What could that be? And Wednesday's the next live eviction and head of household competition, where another house guest will be evicted from the Big Brother Cheesecake Five house, lose their shot at the $500 Cheesecake Five for gift card, and become the sixth member of the jury, finishing in sixth place. And we will find out the identities of the final five. I'm Andrew Chesson Moon Best. Take care. And remember, when baking a cake for your partner, the first ingredient is love. Good night.